As a beginner, when you want to get started in blockchain development, one of the hardest challenges is to set up your development tools on your machine. What do you need to install? What is the most up-to-date tool? Is it compatible with your operating system? So many questions and for many people it's so overwhelming that they just stop right there. But actually, it's not so complicated. For blockchain, there is only a few tools that you need to install and they work on any operating system, even on Raspberry. No, I'm kidding. Let's not exaggerate. Hey, if you are new here, I'm Julian and on Blocks, I teach blockchain development. If you want to see a heated discussion, just take a bunch of programmers and organize a debate on what is the best operating system for coding. Everybody has a very strong opinion about this and I'm one of them. But fortunately, I am right and they are all wrong. <laughs> no, but seriously, what is the best operating system for blockchain? To answer this question, you need to first understand that most of the development tools for blockchain are built using web technologies. Web technologies are first and foremost developed for Linux-based machine. If you are on Linux, you will be fine. There are many Linux flavors. If you don't know which one to take, I recommend Ubuntu, which is the most standard distribution. If you are on macOS, you'll be fine too, because macOS is based on Linux. And if you are on Windows, well, you're screwed. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> No, I'm kidding, because fortunately we are in 2021 and Windows got much better than before for its compatibility with Linux-based tools. If you are on Windows 8 or above, you should be fine, especially since Windows started to release the Windows subsystem for Linux, specially designed to run Linux tools on Windows. If you are on Windows 7 or below, you might run into some problems. And if that's the case, you can consider either using VirtualBox to run Ubuntu as a virtual machine or installing Ubuntu with a dual boot install. Personally, I started my career as a programmer on Windows 8. It worked fine until I started to install some tools that didn't work well. It wasn't related to blockchain though. So I switched to Ubuntu with a dual boot install. I worked on Ubuntu for a few years, including for blockchain projects, and it was fine. And finally, my ex-blockchain company bought me a MacBook Pro, so I switched to macOS, and I absolutely loved it. You have all the benefits of Linux when it comes to compatibility, Plus, this is a much nicer environment, much more ergonomic. So if you can afford it, I would go for a Mac. Otherwise, if you have a PC, just make sure that you have at least Windows 8 or you run a dual boot install of Ubuntu. When you write code, you don't use a text editor like Microsoft Word. You need a specialized text editor for coding with syntax highlighting and a bunch of other features. Historically, we had two systems, IDE, short for Integrated Development Environment, and Lightweight Code Editors. IDEs have more features like debuggers, etc., but are a little bit more difficult to use and sometimes can be very slow. Lightweight Code Editors have less features, but are much more simple and much faster. VS Code is a code editor created by Microsoft a few years ago, and they managed to build a lightweight code editor that is as powerful as an IDE. So in 2021, most programmers use VS Code, including in blockchain. What makes VS Code really powerful is that it's not only very lightweight and easy to use, but it's also very extensible thanks to a very big ecosystem of plugins. To install VS Code, you just go to their website and use their installer. VS Code works well just as it is, but I recommend to install the Solidity extension of Juan Blanco. It adds syntax highlighting for Solidity, the programming language for smart contract. There are many other blockchain extensions for VS Code, and I actually have another video on this. But as a beginner, you don't want to go too deep in this. Just keep it simple, stick to the Solidity extension of Juan Blanco, and that's it. After you write your code, you need to run it. And for this, we need a terminal. In terms of terminology, there is always a confusion between terminal and shells. A shell is the software that allows you to run programs, but a shell doesn't have any visual part. You cannot see it directly. A terminal is a visual window that allows you to use a shell. You can choose which terminal you want to use to run a shell. On Linux, the most common shell is bash, and I recommend to use this one. People often talk of the bash terminal even though they actually mean the bash shell regardless of which terminal you use. For terminals, it really depends on what is your OS. On macOS, the standard terminal is just called the terminal app. For example, here on macOS, you can use Spotlight to search for the terminal app and you can launch it very easily. On Ubuntu, the standard terminal is called the GNOME terminal. 
If you are on macOS and Ubuntu, just use the standard terminal program that is provided. It will run the bash shell and that's what you need. For Windows users, it's a bit different. If you are running Windows 10, you have access to the Windows subsystem for Linux or just WSL. It will give you an emulation of a bash shell, which allow you to run exactly the same commands as in most tutorials for bash shells. For Windows 8, I recommend to install Git for Windows, a package that provides a bash emulation for Windows. Don't try to run bash commands in a native Windows terminal because a lot of these commands are not compatible. Node.js is JavaScript but server-side. It's used by a lot of development tools for the web as well as development tools for blockchain. When you install Node.js, it comes with NPM short for Node Package Manager. Node Package Manager allows you to easily install tools, frameworks and libraries from the command line. So you need to install Node.js on your machine. There are several versions available and I recommend the LTS version. The other version is the bleeding edge of Node.js and it's only for developers of Node.js itself and other special cases. The most simple is to use the installer of their website, but you can also install Node.js with packet managers like apt-get on Ubuntu or brew on macOS. To verify that Node.js has been installed properly on your system, you go to your terminal and you type node-v, it's going to give you the version of Node.js. And if you see an output here, it means it's properly installed. But if you don't have it installed, okay, so let's uh, misspell it on purpose, then you're gonna see this command not found. Truffle is a framework for writing smart contracts, test them and deploy them. It mainly targets the Solidity programming language, which is the most popular programming language for smart contract. Truffle is mostly used for the Ethereum blockchain, but since many blockchains are copy-paste of Ethereum, Truffle can also be used for many other blockchains like Binance Smart Chain or Tron. Truffle it has a built-in compiler for Solidity, the language for smart contract, and it also has a built-in development blockchain called Ganache. What's great when you use Truffle is that you don't need to coordinate all these moving parts. Truffle exposes a nice interface that is easy to use for developers. So to install Truffle in your terminal, it doesn't matter where you are. You run npm install global Truffle. So I'm not going to do it because this is already installed. So the dash g flag is very important here because it installed Truffle globally. That means that you can run Truffle from anywhere on your file system just with the Truffle command. If you omit this dash g flag, Truffle would just be installed locally and it won't be as flexible. To verify that Truffle has been properly installed, you can run Truffle version and you should see an output like this. If you misspell Truffle or you haven't installed it, you're gonna see this output command not found. If later you need to update your version of Truffle, you need to uninstall it first with npm uninstall g truffle. And after you reinstall it with npm install g truffle. Truffle is a command line tool, which means that everything happens at the command line. You just have a few commands to know. It's not very complicated to use. And if you need an introduction to Truffle, I have another video on this. Later, when you get more advanced in blockchain development, there are many other tools that you can install. But for now, as a beginner, that's enough. Now you're all set up, ready to become the next Satoshi Nakamoto. The next step is to create your first smart contract. And for this, you can check out this video on my channel. I will see you there.